Hey guys, Game Boy 10 or Nintendo Boy 08, whatever you want to call me, from Dead Nintendo Boys, and uh, today we are going to be discussing the uh, submachine guns in Modern Warfare 3, what I use on them, uh, that's like proficiencies and attachments, and what I use for them, as in like perks and secondary, etc. Now, Pretty much to start off, I would like to say that I am a proud owner of every single gold gun as of Friday, I believe it was February the 17th. Um, so I'd like to thank everybody for that. Um, and I think it's been two weeks now since I've had all the gold guns, and I've pretty much given up on Modern Warfare 3, just putting that out there. I haven't played it as much as I did then. And I really don't feel like playing the game anymore because I've pretty much done everything. I've gotten all the uh, proficiency titles for every single weapon. I don't have all weapons level 10 because I did not get the launchers seeing as they don't have proficiency titles. But I did get all the other secondaries level 10 and I got all the gold guns. So I didn't give a living shit about anything else. I heard speculation you can get a gold deagle, but that was only on the PC version, as far as I know, by doing a texture glitch. So, unless I actually find out how to actually get it for real, then I'll do it. Which, um, if it were to actually be existent, it'd probably be if you got like 500 kills with a deagle or something. Which would be quite amazing. Anyway. So, the six, go the six guns, submachine guns are MP5, UMP45, PP90, M1, P90, PM9, and MP7 in order from unlocks. And I think, let's start with MP5. I think this is, in my opinion, one of the worst guns in the game. Just putting that out there now. I can't stand it. It's just, it's got, let's put it this way. Low fire rate and not that great accuracy does not go together that well at all. Um, there's a few weapons like this, but that's why the PM9 is a lot better than the MP5, even though it has horrible accuracy, because at least the fire rate catches up with it, and you'll be able to get fast headshots and other, um, sensual and more reliable things than this pile of crap, which doesn't really do anything at all, so... Let's discuss it. I think, in my opinion, I would if you're going to use silencer, which you would use on SMG, I would say almost not to at all. But if you are going to, I would probably put on range with it uh, or focus because the thing with range is um, pretty much you don't get as many hit markers, and that's why I'd probably use it. Focus is the other way around. If You will get lots of hit markers, but if you get hit, it won't matter too much because as long as you have very good accuracy at hitting your foes, you should be able to take them out pretty quickly and just before they kill you, and you should be okay. Um, but I would probably use Rapid Fire on this weapon more, and I would probably use either Kick or Focus. I've heard speculation of using range, and it's a glitch that causes it to be more accurate, but I've not actually tried this. You may try it if you like, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. So, again, rapid fire. I would probably use kick, um, but focus is okay, too. If, you, if you're used to guns who have extremely ridiculous kick on it, like recoil, uh, straight up into the air, then definitely I would choose this gun. Uh, I would probably choose this gun with focus. Um, because then you don't get the shakiness. Kick, on the other hand, is quite useful, and stability works the same deal as kick, even though it doesn't seem like it. It actually does, which was uh, notified in a few other YouTube videos. So, um, I'd probably use kick, though, because kick's just a little bit... Uh, it works more effectively, in my opinion, when it comes to... Um, taking out people and making the gun more accurate than stability does. So, yeah. I don't know what else to say about that. Um, for secondary, I would probably use Scorpion Akimbos, uh, just so then you have an accurate weapon to go with an inaccurate weapon. And perks, probably sleight of hand with, uh, Probably, I would say quick draw, because this gun does go in down sights a little slow. And 
and uh, probably Steady Aim or Stalker, because Stalker use, is used extremely useful on this weapon because it does move around quickly. Um, and that will cause you to get higher kill streaks, etc. Or you can just put that in your special strike package, which does pretty effective work on the MP5, in my opinion. Next is the MP45. Now, this weapon is one of my favorites. A lot of people don't like it because of its inaccuracy now compared to Modern Warfare 2, but people miss the point. Let's get started. I think I think my best and favorite combination that I can only say is my favorite combination with this gun. Uh, nothing else would probably be silencer and range. So once again, same deal as MP5. Um, reason being is the same deal. Uh, medium range, less hit markers. And I've noticed that with this gun only, the long range aspect seems to have less hit markers as well. Um, I seem to only get like four hit markers at the most, which actually isn't too bad because the gun's fire rate is quite quick. Um, but I've heard speculation that rapid fire and silencer is good too, but I wouldn't like to have my proficiency taken away with attachments, and that that's really depressing, so I would probably just use silencer. Now, for a secondary, I would probably use MP9 akimbos, or I would probably use something even more like uh, badass, I guess you could say, like USB 45 akimbos, which is really helpful for those really scary knifing moments. Now, I know this sounds kind of, in a way, gay, because, you know, like, it's a bitch slap to, like, be the guy who's, like, knifing everybody. But it's useful to have this because it is technically a glitch that's in both Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. USB 45 Akimbo's knife faster than even the tactical knife, apparently. So, yeah, I keep them. Um, now, for perks, um, I usually go either Extreme Conditioning or Sleight of Hand. Extreme Conditioning is a bit of a sacrifice because it's, um, it's more for extended mag weapons, but if you do feel safe, then go right ahead, and if you do, I would probably put Hardline as a second perk, so it pretty much alters everything, but let's put it this way, um, let's put it in the way if you're trying to be a fast player, like you're a rusher, I would probably go Sleight of Hand, Quick Draw, and Stalker. Um, it's a good combo, same deal as MP5, you just kinda, it's better for wagging your tail, as we call it, um, with Stalker. Now, if you're gonna go, you know, like, stealth mode, or if you're going search and destroying, um, I'd probably do extreme conditioning, hardline, um, try to keep that probed, because you do get a lot of assists in search, uh, for the most part. And then I'd probably put sleight of hand as the first specialist kill streak um, instead of having assault, and then that way you can have both of those perks, extreme conditioning and sleight of hand, just like in uh, Black Ops. And then final perk would probably be stalker or steady aim. Uh, steady aim does quite well for rushing around in search with extreme conditioning um, because it readies your gun after sprinting faster. Um, and it's great for hip-firing the weapon, um, but if you're going to be hip-firing, uh, don't be too surprised if the UMP-45 misses a lot because it's not very good for hip-firing. It's more for aiming down the sights. Now, the next gun is the, uh, I'm trying to, I'm losing my mind, a PP-90M1. This is a pretty big one. A lot of people love it. So, to use this one, I would probably just go right off the bat and use extended mags or silencer. Now, if you're going the silencer, I would go range. If you're going extended mags, I would go focus, because focus helps so uh, a lot with the uh, shaking motion. But you do die quickly with this weapon, so just be warned. You're going to have to be a very sneaky bastard and use this gun very effectively in order to use focus very efficiently. So, that's pretty much how you use that weapon. I almost have 2,500 kills with this one, so it'll be my second title with 2,500 kills. Um, which first was PM9. I don't know if I told you guys about that, but I did get 2,500 kills with PM9. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, secondaries, I'd probably go, again, something like Scorpions, uh, just to be a little bit of a troll, just go around with Scorpions for fun. 
or I'd probably go something even more fast fire rate like G18 akimbos, which a lot of people don't like because they're very inaccurate, but if you use them close range, they're actually amazing. If you wanted to go long range, I'd probably say put on something more different like, say, MP9 with silencer, so then you have an accurate weapon for long range action for secondary. Even an RPG might do pretty well for you, but if you try to use it close range, you'll probably kill yourself. But it's a pretty fun weapon to use, and I happen to use that a lot, as people know. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, for perks, I'd probably say, if you're going Team Deathmatch rushy-wise, I'd probably say Sleight of Hand, then go, say, Assassin or Hardline. Because you don't really need quick draw in this case, because it does aim down sights very quickly. And finally, I would say steady aim, or even sit rep, I've found is quite reasonable, uh, because of those, like, um, sound effects you can hear on the people. If you're a very big sound whore player, even on just the TV's soundboard itself, instead of it just having to be your headset, this perk is actually quite useful to pro. So, just do the trophy system glitch to get sit rep pro, Yes, I know it's kind of cheating, but in a sense, it's quite useful to get. And then there you go. If you have Sit Rep Pro, then you'll probably do quite well. If you have Hardline in this case, then it'd be quite useful to put on Stalker and Steady Aim in your line, probably at the end, and then keep something like Extreme Conditioning or Assassin as your next perk, or your first perk of the uh, killstreak line, because then you have some useful perks, some overpowered perks to keep you alive. Now, overpowered perks, yes, I know, they're generally, as we call them, overpowered, and it's gonna cause a big change in people's uh, mind. Like, they're probably gonna be like, fuck you, and all this. But, like, it doesn't matter, it's your gun. Anyway. We're gotten too bit a bit too into this. Let's go back to another gun. Let's go to P90. P90 is probably one of my favorites. I don't know why, but I like it. Um, I'd put silencer with focus with focus or range. Probably range because range causes it. No kidding, to be two or three hit markers from the chest downward. Um, with this weapon. Sometimes, if you're long range, you will get a lot of hit markers, like eight. And it's kind of scary, but if you but since it has a f decently fast fire rate, you should be okay. It's a one shot headshot, by the way, with medium range with range as a proficiency, so that's why it's highly suggested. It's an, a crazy amazing weapon and quite overpowered considering the magazine is fifty. The next thing is probably the secondaries. It doesn't matter in my opinion. The secondaries are barely used when you have this gun out because this gun is pretty generally overpowered. It hip fires well, it aims down sights well, everything good is about it. So I'd probably even use overkill, but overkill kind of screws everything over with your kill streak line. So probably go regular secondaries, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Because it even goes fast, so if you want a tactical knife, go right ahead. It actually works quite well. Then for perks, I'd probably go sleight of hand or extreme conditioning with sleight of hand as your uh, strike package. Then go something like Steady Aim for your third perk, and second perk, probably uh, Quick Draw, because you want those fast aim kills um, extremely desperately. And then put Assassin or something like Sit Rep or Dead Silence as your killstreak line uh, to help with your sleight of hand, because then that way you have, like, everything you need. So, now we have the two last guns, but I'm going to discuss them in part two. Hope you liked the video, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next part.